Hi guys, greetings to you. So today I wanted to talk about renal hardness. So first of all, you see here is my sample. This is how my sample looks like. So it's machined all the sides. So you machine that side and that side. So here, I'm gonna write down to you. Okay, please come closer. I'm gonna write down to you how you get the renal, the renal number from the formula. So you take the first load over the diameter of the ball and then multiply by the diameter of the ball again minus the square root of the diameter of the ball squared minus the diameter of the impression so that's how you get it so now we're going to use a force load of 3000 kilogram force so listen here hardness we all know that when we're talking about hardness what should we do as we try to put an indentation in our sample. So remember, the other the sample, the lower is the height of indentation, right? The height of indentation, which in return gives a small impression. Impression, what I'm talking about, impression I'm talking about, it gives give a small diameter of the indentation. So yeah, so then softer the material, then the higher is that H that I'm talking about, which in return gives a bigger, don't mind my drawing, okay, which in return gives a bigger diameter or a bigger impression diameter that's one over d that's one d all right so yeah so we we'll realize that hardness brunel exhibits a close relationship with the uts given that given with the uts given that it's in mpa given that mpa so i would say hardness brunel equals to kh UTS in MPA. So KH is KH is in the range of three four five two three seven zero. So yeah, so that's how it is. So let's go and do it. So here, what you see here is a regular testing machine. So this is how it operates. This ball here. This ball here is an ardent steel, or sometimes cemented carbide. So Brunel testing is for ferrous and non-ferrous metal of less to medium hard. So now the ball gonna remain on the sample for 12 seconds, and then after that the load will be released. All right. Again, for 12 seconds. So now what I'm gonna do is that is my sample there, that is my indenter there, and then I'm going to start. start. I'm gonna press there. So check now. That is 12 seconds. So the ball gonna will remain there for 12 seconds. Then after that, it will go up. So come this side. You see here. This is the load. This is the load. These are the loads. So as you read the the ball is being released there. This is going up. You can see it's going up. So now here, you're gonna see this sample of mine gonna have an impression. There we go. I'm gonna have an impression. So this is the impression that I'm getting when I test the Brunel, when I do a Brunel test. So my sample now is tested. So instead of going through the calculation here that I've written there, so what I do is I have a chart that I've converted everything there. So everything is converted on my chart. And then from there, what I do, I just copy and so. So I'm gonna do another impression that to show you how it can be done. So I will go, I put the, I hold it, and then I go start. So it was so nice to share this video with you guys. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. So for now, I'm gonna say bye and see you for the next video. But check at that, check at that first, check at that, check at that. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'll be happy because we'll be sharing a lot of stuff. So now I'm gonna use my sample and then from there we're gonna go for the next video. So
There you go. Just bye.